I'm Brian Green. I'm a professor of physics and mathematics at Columbia University. And this empty space is my desk. You know, there's this image that, you know, creative genius needs to have all sorts of mess all over the place. Uh, a, I'm not a genius. But B, I just think better. If there's nothing around, I mean, when I was in college, I was a complete slob. My room made it into the yearbook as the most disgusting, messy room on campus. When I was five, six, you know, my dad would set me these 30 digit by 30 digit multiplication problems and I would spend the weekend doing them. That's my dad getting his lips stuck in the harmonica and his friend smacking his head. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Most of my work is calculations. I used to use pen a lot and I've switched over to, to pencil because I made too many mistakes. I do have stuff on my bookcase shelves. That's sort of where my clutter tends to migrate. This is a Colombial manifold. It's the shape of the extra dimensions in string theory. That's one of the things that string theory requires, more dimensions of space. And those shapes can take a variety of forms, but they're actually quite spectacular. That's this guy. Are there books? Well, here's one. A little baggy here. I guess I double bagged it. It's a first edition of uh, the myth of Sisyphus. So he says, there is but only one truly serious philosophical problem, and that is suicide. All the rest, whether or not the world has three dimensions, comes afterwards. And he goes on basically to say, if whether the world has three dimensions seems secondary. And I'm, I'm no Camus. He's, he's a great, brilliant mind. But how can you judge whether life is worth living if you don't know what life, or more broadly, what reality is? And to me, the question of whether reality has three dimensions, that is, the dimensions that you can see, or that it might have other dimensions, that, to me, adds a richness to life. It makes me want to live. It's not the only reason why I want to live. And if there aren't extra dimensions, it's not like I'm going to off myself. But the possibility that there's so much more to the world than we directly see with our eyes, that fires me up in a way that makes me want to get up. Look, it's not like when I go shopping, I'm totally wrapped up in extra dimensions, and relativity and quantum mechanics, but I'm constantly curious about the true nature of reality. So I'm probably ruining your sound by putting this on as we're going. Um, <laughs>